today and first of all let me apologize for this being really really late but as you can probably see from this collection of stuff here i had an awful lot of beauty boxes in may and i'll be honest i haven't tried all of the products but i will go through them and i thought i've done a lot of unboxings on my channel especially recently and um, what is the point in me unboxing things if you never really find out how i got on with them and what i thought of them so I am going to review the products that I've tried, anything that I didn't like, I will be totally honest about. These are my own honest opinions, there is no bias here whatsoever. I bought all of this stuff with my own money, it's not been gifted, I'm not obligated to say anything by any company or brand. But obviously, they're my opinions, I'm not a skincare expert, I'm not a makeup expert by any means. And they are just how I've got on with products, what I personally think of them. So other people's opinions may be different, but I will let you know what I thought of, of everything here. Just before we start, if you are new, then please do hit the subscribe button and join the family. We would love to have you join us. Um, I do all sorts of videos, unboxings, reviews, hauls. So if that's your kind of thing, then please stick around. Um, and let's just jump straight into it. So... First up, I'm going to go through a few products that I received which I haven't tried and which I definitely will not be trying and I will probably put aside for a giveaway at some point on my channel. So first up in um, Glossy Box, we got the Barry M Flawless Chisel Cheek Contour Kit and honestly, um, contouring is just not my thing. I go for a very natural makeup look. I'm probably never ever going to contour. I mean, it does show you on the back what you should do, what colours you should use where, and it's probably a lovely product. It's just not for me. So this will definitely be going in a giveaway at some point. I'm thinking if I hit a thousand subscribers, then I will do a big giveaway. I have got quite a big box of products that I've either been gifted or um, that I've had and just never got around to using and think I won't use so I'll pop that in there and if I hit a thousand subscribers then I will do a big giveaway on my channel and hopefully that can be before the end of the year I was hoping to get to a thousand by the end of the year so do subscribe and then you'll be in with a chance of winning my massive giveaway especially if you're interested in any of these products so that will be going in there that was in glossy box uh, May's glossy box by the way and then we got another sort of contouring palette in June's glossy box which is a bit disappointing as well but it was um, a contour a blush and a highlight so at least I'll use the blush and highlight in those next up where did I get you from which I've got a little list here because I had so much stuff I can't remember what box I got what in this was in birch box so birch box in May I got two boxes they were doing a deal to I think you got two boxes for 10 pounds and I got the January box which this was featured in and this is the after spa facial scrubber and I have deliberately not got this out and used it just because I just find things like this too harsh on my skin on my face I don't like anything that scrubby I'm sure loads of people love these things but it's just probably not for me so I thought rather than get it out try it once and find that I don't like it I'll just save it and pop it in a little um, giveaway so it's meant to be one that you can just use over and over again with your cleanser and you just replace it in 60 days so it lasts you a couple of months but yeah just not for me that one again so that will be in my giveaway another one this was from the Tilly box and perfect for summer if you're into tanning this is James Reed gradual tan and I think it's for your face and it's a sleep mask tan so I think you just put it on go to sleep and wake up looking all glowy and gorgeous but I just don't bother fake tanning, pasty. I'll just be happy to stay pasty, thank you. Plus, I'm really weary about putting stuff like this on my face. What if it goes horribly wrong? What if you wake up in the morning and your face is bright orange or streaky and no, I've still got to go out to work and leave the house and no, thank you. So yeah, I'm sure this is, again, is a lovely product, just not something that I'm ever gonna use. So that will go in the giveaway. And then lastly, I think this was Birchbox as well. Um, I will double check, but Birchbox do love a Lord and Berry product. And this is, was a Lord and Berry eyeliner and it's in purple, which is great because you get a lot of eyeliners in beauty boxes. And I don't even wear eyeliner that much. I must have probably 10 black eyeliners from um, beauty boxes. And this is a purple one. So it's great that it's a different colour. However, when am I ever going to wear purple eyeliner? realistically i very rarely wear black 
I've got a couple of browns. I don't even use them very often, so it's just not for me again. I mean, I was going to keep it, and I thought maybe if I was going on a night out and I wanted to do smoky eye, maybe I could use a purple eyeliner instead of a black, but realistically, I'm never going to use it, so it's pointless keeping it, um, especially when I've literally got 10 black eyeliners, so... Little Purple Lord and Berry Eyeliner will also give, go into a giveaway at some point. So those are the items that I didn't use and I definitely won't be keeping. There were a few that I didn't use but I will definitely get around to using and I'm excited to try quite a few of them. The first one being this Nude by Nature powder. Um, I had the Nude by Nature little highlighter stick, I think, or glow stick it was called, in my latest in beauty box back in February, I think. And that is a lovely product, really, really like it. So... I'm hoping that this is really good too and it's a translucent loose finishing powder and it's only 1.5 grams but I mean it looks like you get a decent amount of powder in there. The only issue I have with this is I don't powder really in summer, um, very very rarely do I powder in summer. I like to have that sort of glowy look so it's not something that I'm probably going to get around to using anytime soon. This by the way came in my Tilly box and I am really excited to try this, I'm just going to pop it in my makeup box and when it starts to get a bit cooler, maybe the powder will come back out and I will give this a try. So if you are interested in seeing um, what this is like, then it will probably get featured in a video. Um, one of my favourites, when I do my empties and favourites things, it'll probably be in one of those. So we'll definitely, definitely use that. Also, a face mask. I mean, I do a million face masks a month. Um, so it's no surprise that this one hasn't got used yet. This is the Star Skin Peel Off Mask and, and I am less inclined to go to a peel off mask because I am terrible when it comes to messing with them before they've dried. just haven't got the patience to leave them to dry. Um, but I am excited to try this. It's meant to be a brightening and hydrating peel off treatment for intense glow and hydration. So it sounds lovely and I will definitely try and use this soon and if I do use it I tend to do um, Instagram posts and reviews on my face masks so if you're not already following me on Instagram then I'll leave my handle below and um, in the in the description box and you can go and follow me on there so that you get reviews on all the face masks. I picked this in my latest in beauty box for me. That's where it came from, my latest in beauty box for me and I will definitely definitely use it. I'm quite intrigued to see what it's like. It's 30 grams, I'm wondering whether I'll be able to get two out of it. Possibly not, but um, yeah, excited to try that one. So I will definitely be trying that one and reviewing. Also another product that I haven't tried yet, but I'm really interested um, to try is the Molten Bone Sharon Bath Gel. Uh, it's in Jasmine and Sun Rose. Oh, it smells really nice. I'll go on my nose now. It smells really, really nice, but because it is a little bottle, it is 100 ml, I thought I would take that when I go on holiday, um, so I don't want to use it sort of every day. I'll use my big, big bottles for that and keep that for holiday. So I'll probably take that away when we go on our summer holiday in August, and then I can review it for you then. Uh, also, haven't used, but was really excited to see in the Tilly box was the Floral Street um, perfume. This is Black Lotus scent, and it is really nice, but it's just super strong. Um, it's just not the sort of scent that I would expect for summer. That was the only disappointing thing about getting it in a May box, is in summer I tend to go for slightly lighter, floral, um, sweeter fragrances, and then in winter I get out my sort of heavier, deeper fragrances, and this is definitely one for winter for me, um, personally. But it's really nice, and um, I was really intrigued to try the Floral Street perfumes. I've seen them a lot, I've heard a lot of good reviews on them, so yeah. Um, stick around for winter and I will definitely be using that and giving that a review and then I think this is the last item that I haven't tried oh no I've got I've got a few more items that I haven't tried <laughs> this one was Malay it's the eyeshadow stick this was also in Tilly it looks like a lovely colour I just don't really use eyeshadows very much but I will try and give it a go it does look like the sort of eyeshadow that I would use so yeah, we'll be trying that one out. I'm gonna move on to cleansers because I got four cleansers between my beauty boxes this month. So I had this Dr. Botanicals Cocoa and Coconut Superfood Reviving and Exfoliating Cleansing Bar in the January Birch Box. 
then I picked this Carnaby and Cross Gemotherapy Amino Acids Facial Cleanser in my Latest in Beauty box. Latest in Beauty also had their Hall of Fame product, which was this Mirage Exfoliating Cleanser. And then in my Tilly box, I also got this Purity Philosophy 3-in-1 Facial Cleanser. So I haven't tried these three yet because I really wanted to try the Mirage Cleanser and I'm not going to open them all at the same time they're just going to get wasted and also I think with something like a cleanser you need to use it for a while to see whether it suits your skin to see whether you can notice a difference and honestly this is a really nice exfoliating cleanser we got how much is in here it's quite a big one isn't it 200 ml which I thought was really really good it's a really fine exfoliator um, I'm like I said before with the cloth I'm not for really harsh strong scrubs for my face i just find that they leave my skin really red and sore it's just not for me um, i'm really enjoying the pixie glow pixie rose tonics and exfoliating that way rather than an actual abrasive exfoliator but this i did enjoy and i thought it was really nice and it left my skin feeling really nice the only thing that i don't like about this cleanser is the smell and i don't know what it is as soon as i smelt it the first time I used it, you can't really smell it in the box, but the first in in the box, in the tube. But the first time I used it and I started putting it on my face, I got this instant flashback to some teenage skincare that I must have used. And it just instantly reminded me of that. And I don't know what, what it was. I have no idea what it was. But yeah, it's just got a scent that I'm not overly keen on. It doesn't smell natural. I don't, I quite like skincare to smell natural i don't like chemically or sort of perfumed items which this doesn't smell perfumed but it definitely doesn't smell natural either it's got not a strong chemically scent i can't explain it it's just not a scent that i enjoy but the actual product is really really nice and it's going to last forever because you don't actually need to use that much mm. so even if you use it twice a day which i don't personally use it twice a day but even if you use it twice a day 200 ml is going to last you a long long time so this was a great great product for ladies and beauty to give us really really pleased with that one but that is the only cleanser that i've used i've heard really good things about this one so this might be next on my list mm. I do like a Dr Botanicals product as well though so I'm really happy that I got that and I think that would be great for travelling because it's solid especially if you're going abroad it doesn't count as part of your um, liquid allowance if you're only taking hand luggage that's a great option and I am looking forward to using that this one the Carnaby and Cross products I had this and I also had a sheet mask which was meant to be like silk which did feel amazing on my skin when I actually put the mask on. It was so soft. Um, I reviewed that on my Instagram. So if you do want to see what I thought of it at the time, then go and check out um, one of my old Instagram posts. But I couldn't find this or the face mask for sale anywhere. Anywhere when I searched um, to try and find out roughly how much they were worth when I did my unboxing video, which kind of puts me off a little bit i'm thinking are they really old stock it's got a date stamped on this one which says um april 2019 which i don't know if it's going to focus that but i'm presuming that is the production date um but i might have a look into that before i use it i mean i used the face mask and I didn't get any adverse reactions. And from what I can remember, because it was a while ago, it was a really nice face mask. I don't know whether I would have paid the sort of price that I was finding that it was originally on sale for. And um, like I say, I don't think I could find it to repurchase, even if I did really like it, which is a bit disappointing. I don't see the point of having a product in a beauty box that I can't then go and repurchase if I really liked it. That's the whole kind of concept of beauty box, that you can try something, um, for a fraction of the price and then if you do really really love it maybe that's going to tempt you to go out and buy the full price product but anyway that was all my cleansers i did have another couple of items that i haven't tried um, i got two items from philip kingsley both from birchbox i got the elasticizer and i got this flaky itchy scalp shampoo now the shampoo is only 20 mils and i will tell you now this is is or was available in July on the Feel Unique Sample service. So if you haven't tried the Feel Unique Sample 
um, service and you're interested in trying the Philip Kingsley shampoo, then go on there because this 20 ml product is on there to try as a sample. So that's the only thing with Birchbox, you sometimes get really little samples. This would be ideal to take traveling or whatever and that's why I haven't used it because I will literally just pop it into like a sample pot and if I'm going away for an evening or a weekend and I want just a little shampoo to take with me then I will pick something like that up. I don't tend to have a flaky and itchy scalp either so it's not really massively suited for me but if I needed something for a traveling and it's there. The elasticizer I got one I think it was in my Marks and Spencer's advent calendar, but it's a different scent. This is like the original, and the scent I got in the advent calendar is pomegranate, I think, which sounds lovely, but has gone unused because I am quite lazy. I like things to be quick and easy, and um, treatments for my hair is no different to me using a face mask. I like a sheet mask because they're quick, I stick it on, I watch telly for half an hour, I take it off, it's done. This, however, you have to wet your hair before shampooing then apply this in sections to your hair and then put a plastic cap on your hair and leave it for 10 to 20 minutes now i've heard amazing amazing things about philip kingsley elasticizer which is why i was really happy to receive it but in reality how often am i going to have time to do that before i then shampoo my hair i mean that's why we're in july and i still haven't used it yet and i've had one since christmas that i haven't used either because every time i think i'm going to give my hair a treatment and i look at it i'm like yeah it's too too much too much i'd rather just have a mask that i put on and rinse off while i'm in the shower easy peasy so i'm sure i will get around to using it eventually and i hope it is as good as everyone says but i don't know when i'm ever going to get around to using it the only other thing that i haven't used i think Think I've used everything else is the shower scrub uh the what's in it for me shower scrub which came in what box what box is this for me in my May Birch box and um yeah I think I've already got one of these somewhere but again this is the sort of size that is ideal for me to take on holiday I am using um quite a big uh, Soap duper shower scrub at the moment so until that's all used up i'm not going to open another one but it sounds really nice um i'm not sure if it's got a, it's got a seal on so i can't smell it but it says it's got an uplifting floral fra fragrance which sounds really nice and it's a natural exfoliant because it's got walnut shell for the exfoliator so i will definitely be using that at some point and it sounds lovely now on to products that I have used and are really enjoying. This hand cream, which came in the Tilly box, is one of them. It's the Margaret Dabbs London Fabulous Hands Hand Lotion, 45ml, and it just smells really nice. It's a really citrusy, it's quite a strong scented hand cream, but I just find it does leave my skin on my hands feeling really nourished and moisturised. I'm not sure if you can see there. I don't know if, if it's going to pick up, but I've literally only got about that much left because I've been using it every night before I go to bed. And it's really nice. The only thing is, it's a hand cream, which isn't very exciting. And there are loads of really great hand creams on the market that aren't that expensive. So it's probably not going to be something that I'm going to rebuy. But I was happy to have a hand cream in my box and I really enjoyed it. It was a nice one. So if you see it and it's a good deal, then pick one up. It was really nice i liked that one um next on to something that i didn't enjoy quite so much i was super super excited to get this incredible jelly shop from it's from the nails ink brand ink credible is like their makeup beauty side and they do face masks and like lip treatments and all sorts and obviously nails into all the nail polishes um but i'd seen these and um, really really loved the idea of them it's like a, a lip balm it's got a cute little flower in there are loads of different colored ones that you can get and it's meant to give your lips a little tint of color which it definitely didn't i mean it's quite a nice lip balm this one's called stronger together it's enhanced with avocado oil i wouldn't say it's anything special for a lip balm i wouldn't trade up any of my other lip balms that i use and um i'm actually wearing a lip balm that i received in a birch box quite a while ago um and this is a color changing one and it has given my lips a really pink color so this had nowhere near that effect 
so that was really really disappointing and i'm sort of glad i didn't go out and buy one now full price because i think they were about eight quid which for a lip balm is quite pricey and i wasn't impressed with it at all so i'll use it because it's a lip balm and it'll get used but definitely wouldn't repurchase wouldn't recommend to anyone something that i did enjoy which i didn't think i would enjoy was this lip balm from beauty kitchen when i got it from my glossy box i was really underwhelmed i was like eh, it just looks like vaseline um it's nothing special at all obviously it is 100 percent natural which is great it's meant to be like sustainable it's made in the uk um but i was like it's just vaseline which is actually really really good i put it on at night before i go to bed and i wake up in the morning and i've still got that um layer of well it's not vaseline is it it's like a natural a natural type of vaseline because there's no petroleum it's not petroleum jelly but i've still got that layer on my lips and my lips are really really moisturized so it is really really good and if you're looking for sort of natural products only ever 100 percent naturally derived ingredients for sustainable beauty if that's the sort of thing that you're looking for then definitely pick one of these up it was a great little product i personally won't repurchase it because i'd rather just get a little tube of carmex probably a lot cheaper but yeah, if it was cheaper, I would pick one up. Really, really good. Also really loving this, which is the night cream that I picked. I think this was in my latest in beauty box. Um, it's from eCooking. It just says night cream on it. it helps visibly reduce fine lines. And it is super thick. Um, I haven't really made much of a dent considering I've been using it for so long. It smells really natural and herbal. And you just need a tiny bit and it just goes on really nicely really moisturizes your skin i really really like it really like that one that was a good one the big one for glossy box this that uh, in may was the avent um primer which was worth something crazy it's nice it is a nice primer it is so thin it goes on really I don't know how to explain it. It's like almost watery, liquidy. It's so thin compared to other primers that I've used. Was it any better than, say, the primer that I used from number seven, which is meant to airbrush away fine lines, which is what this says as well? Um, I wouldn't say it was a great deal better. It's definitely thinner. It felt a bit more moisturising with priming at the same time. That's the only thing. I love getting the Avent products out and trying them. The night cream was amazing, really, really good. But again, I love the product, would never, never pay that sort of money for it. So it was nice to get and try, but I wouldn't say it was any better than other primers that I've used. In particular, the number seven one I find really does help to give a good base and sort of help diminish fine lines and wrinkles, which is that is meant to do, and it'll probably be a quarter of the price of that one this from my birch box which was part of the january one was the um moonlighter cushion loving this when i looked at it i was like horrified that it was so dark but you actually just use your little sponge that looks disgusting and dab on it's like a sponge almost and it is so sheer as a highlighter. It is really natural and just totally goes with my natural everyday makeup. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't use a highlighter really. And this I feel I can use every day without feeling like I've gone, you know, overboard with makeup. It really does give you just that gentle sheen, a really natural looking glow, not harsh like other highlighters. I also did enjoy the CRT highlighter though, which came in my latest in beauty box. This is more like a normal powder highlighter. The powder is really soft, it's really nice colour, really like it. This is more something that I would wear when I'm wearing a bit more makeup, when I'm going out. This is my everyday go-to. I literally wear it every day, love this one. Um, but I will be using this one as well, really liked that one too. And then not so great was the little mascara that we got in our birch box which was the nourishing mascara from Utanic beauty volumizing and lengthy mascara with almond oil and camellia oil now it's okay it's got a decent wand on it it's okay if you only put a little bit on and you're going for quite a natural look if you want a really thick full 
eyelash this this isn't the one because the more you try and put on the more your eyelashes just clump together so if you just want a quick sweep so that it gives you a bit of definition and this will work and that's sort of what I've been using it for just on a daily basis when I didn't want to go over the top with mascara and just wanted something quick just to give it a bit of colour, a little bit more length then I can use it but I would never ever repurchase this and I would never recommend it to anyone and I think the fact that it says volumising and lengthening it definitely only volumises if you want to stick all your eyelashes together it did give a little bit of length but yeah I, I would never go out and repurchase this I will use it though. I've got two sunscreens in in my beauty boxes. I think the Ultra Sun um, tinted face one was from my Tilly box, and then I got this Mimitika one, which was in where was this? Was this in Birch box? This is in the May May Birch box. So I've used them both. They are both completely different to each other. The Ultra Sun one I have used Ultra Sun face. Um, before not a tinted one though this was nice it had got a little bit of color it was a bit like putting um, a BB cream on so it gives you a little bit of a glow without actually giving you any real coverage like sort of foundation wise this was in the color tinted honey which was perhaps a tiny bit dark for my skin tone but I mean I only used a tiny bit and it worked fine it's only factor 30 again which is probably perfect for sort of later on in the year um i do like to wear factor 50 on my face um but yeah it was nice and i like ultra sun it's a good good product and it doesn't leave that shiny greasy look that you get if you use normal sunscreen on your face this is very matte when you put it on your face ultra sun the mimetica however was completely different and i absolutely loved it so it doesn't smell like sun cream at all which is nice. I, I'm, I like that it's not like sun cream. And when you put it on, it is so light. It doesn't give that matte finish, but it feels more like just putting a normal everyday moisturiser on your face. But obviously, you've got your, then your Factor 50 protection in it as well. I really, really love this. Love it. And I will definitely be looking into maybe getting some for use throughout the summer because I just really love it. I love the smell. I love how easily it applies to my skin. And I can use it under my makeup. I think it just acts like a normal moisturiser. It doesn't seem to affect your makeup at all. I just absolutely love it. I'm just hoping it's not too pricey. I mean, I don't mind spending a little bit more on sun cream because I think it's really important to protect your skin from the sun. But if it's super pricey, I won't be able to repurchase it. But um, yeah, I'm definitely going to check that one out. Really, really liked that one. What have I not spoke about yet? I think this is the only thing that's left and it is the nail berry um, nail polish that came in our glossy box now I've used this a couple of times I've actually got it on my ring finger at the moment it says that it's a breathable nail polish so the first time that I used it I thought with it being breathable if I use a base coat and a top coat that's kind of going to defeat the object surely it can't breathe if I put a layer of unbreathable lacquer underneath and on top so i literally just put the polish on it is a beautiful color it applies so easily it's a great texture for a nail polish it is just the right sort of consistency the right thickness i literally i probably could have worn one coat and it'd been enough but i put two coats on it dried really well but without a top and base coat it didn't last very long for me personally but i am quite hard on my hands and nails are clean without rubber gloves or do washing up all the time so it just tends to come off really easily but I did really like it and it is a product that I will use I will use, I don't use nail polish an awful lot anymore on my fingernails but I will always put it on my toes this time I've put a uh, top and base coat on so we'll see if it lasts any better but I do really like it it is a beautiful colour the whole breathable thing I'm not sure if it's just a gimmick because I can't say I noticed any difference really. Whether you would, over a long period of time of having worn it, whether you would see an effect and whether your nails would be stronger, I don't know, but it was really, really nice. There was something else that I couldn't find, which was the Mud Masky Serum. It was like an after, after face mask serum, which I really liked. I have used it quite a few times after my face masks and I just feel like it gives your skin an extra boost 
I don't know what it is, or helps to lock in all of the goodness that you've just put onto your skin from your face mask. So I really, really love that, but I can't find it anywhere. I don't know what's happened to it, and I'm a bit gutted that I can't find it. And the only other thing I need to talk about is a few face masks that I actually used that I haven't kept the packaging for. I'm just going to try and see what I've used. So the actual silk was nice. It felt really nice. But like I say, I couldn't find it to repurchase anyway. The other face mask, which was my absolute favourite face mask that I've tried for ages, was the Dr. Jart Shot and Shake face mask. And it was like a little cup with a weird plastic baby face on the top. But you basically got some powder and some liquid and you put them in the pot and you shook it up. And it made this sort of rubbery face mask. When you peeled it off, you put it on, le le left it to set. And when, when you looked at it, it didn't look like it was drying. Like I was expecting kind of like a normal peel-off face mask where it dries and your skin feels quite tight. This was completely the opposite. So when you put it on, it did sort of set without you realising that it set. You didn't get that tightness that you get with peel-off face masks. And when you peeled it off, it literally came off in one piece and it was like rubber. It was the strangest thing ever, but my skin felt amazing afterwards and I really, really liked it. So I'm hoping to pick up some more of those. I know you can get them online. They're not the cheapest. I want to say eight quid, eight pounds, which for one face mask isn't that cheap, but they were really nice. But I have seen them on someone else's channel. I think it was on Holly Vlogs. I think she went into TK Maxx and found them in there. And I think they were 3 99 So that is really good. But I checked in my local TK Maxx and they didn't have any. So I will be keeping my eye out there to see if I can find any Dr. Jart um, shot and shake masks. Because I really wanted to try the... I think I got the hydration one, which was really nice. But I wanted to try the anti-aging one. So I'm going to look out for that. And that is everything. This video is super long because of how many beauty boxes I got in the month of May. Um, and I will be uploading my June beauty boxes in a week or so. I want to make sure I've used all my products or tried to use most of my products and given some of them a bit of time so I can give you a proper review on them. But that is it for this month and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you are interested in these reviews and you want to know my thoughts on the products that I receive. Leave me a like if you do like these videos and I'll know you want more. Leave me a comment if you want to talk about any of the other products or if you want me to try any of the other products or if I've mentioned other products, um, maybe my Feel Unique samples and stuff that you would like me to review. And I'll happily do that for you. It was a big one this month. It won't be like this every month. I went a bit crazy in May. But there won't be that many beauty boxes in my other months. So it'll be a much smaller, much easier um for you to sit through so if you do make it to the end thank you very much well done you and i will see you hopefully for another video very very soon thanks guys bye